Let's see this dead hungry. Oh, the bike feels so different now that it's not weighed down with the gear. All my luggage. Amazing how much a 20 kilogram, less than 20 kilograms of luggage can do to a handling of the bike, especially when it's all the way up the bike. This feels so much nicer now. surface is very like powdery smooth and soft because it's been wet so recently so you have to be a little careful with these tires as they have been driven 9,000 kilometers already and they are not the best off-road anyway but you can really enjoy these Pirellis off-road I've driven a lot of gravel with these and sandy roads and uh, if you just take it easy they will do the job pretty well What is that? Is that like some kind of a bird repellent? What is that? Oh, it's a watering system. Okay. Or some kind of a system that, I don't know, maybe it's uh, some poison, so. Oh. Water or something gets distributed. I've never seen something like that before. I have to say the rally rate spring in the rear is really taking the bumps quite well. Same system there. Both sides. Oh yeah, they roll it up and down the fields and yeah, cool looking system. We'd love to see how they use it. They pull it with tractors, I guess. <laughs> Maybe that was for me. Yeah. The rear is getting maybe a little bit more slippery, but oh, 
Oh, what is that? Was that a bunny? That was a bunny, I guess. <laughs> Look at the views here. Wow. I gotta stop and admire this. Take it easy. And look around. It's pretty flat here, but still. So peaceful. So very quiet. And still a lot of green here. Okay, let's go. How do you like the view from the camera? Just comment below if it's okay. Or if it should be adjusted. Or if you have any good or bad feedback on that. I would love to listen to it. Or read about it. I should probably drive the other lane. <laughs> These trees are getting annoying. Yeah, much better. Someone here with a tractor. Let's see if they're friendly or if they hate us driving here. I'm gonna be respectful and drive very slow. friendly Close the visor, you get less wind. Oh, I have some, somebody living inside my helmet. Mm. Let's try to let him out. Come on, whatever you were, I don't want you there. <laughs> Jumping in my eye all the time. It's still in my helmet, <laughs> whatever it was. Oh, there's some big rocks. I'm not gonna punch my tire in those. It's going in my mouth. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Should I take the helmet off? Mm. Oh, maybe I'll eat. <laughs> ah, damn, I have to take my helmet off. What it is, grasshopper or something. <laughs> Dude, get out of there. Hmm. Oh, can't find it. Maybe it dropped out. What do you think? I look pretty funny without the beard. <laughs> well, I do look funny with anything but uh, only the mustache how, how does it look it's okay <laughs>
<laughs> I don't want to get my camera caught on those. Let's change to this side. Looks like that's endless. <laughs> the back end just loves to sleep on this tenera. But it's very controlled. I love to have this bit of a drift on the tenera at times because it's so easy. The bike just fills you with confidence that I should probably not have. What is that? <laughs> I had no idea what that was. It was either shit or a shirt. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful yellow fields. Not sure how it's gonna look on the wide angle, but in person, this is just awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so the tet does come underneath one of these. In Finland we don't usually allow driving underneath, or at least some places, because they get icy and then they drop deadly icicles. I guess that's the reason. But yeah, these are pretty small compared to some of the big ones I've seen. But very quiet. Let's see if I can hear them without the... I can't hear anything. Yeah, very quiet. Hmm. I guess that's about as interesting as that gets. Woo! Both wheels. Oh, that's bouncy. I'm. I think I lost a wheel. Shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Almost. One of my wheels is empty. I'm sure of it. Not sure which one. What? No. I was sure that one of my le I was sure that rear tire was empty or that something came loose because the bike felt incredibly unstable. What the Yeah, I was struggling to come to a stop there. Look. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, now I Broke a tire and I don't have the pump with me because I thought this was just a short ride. But no, this feels completely fine. Maybe I need some tuning to my suspension. That, that should have been just fine. I don't know what happened. The bike felt completely wild, just like uncontrollable. Maybe it is this gravel that they have put here. It's very slippery. Maybe that's the reason. I was absolutely certain that I broke a tire there. But, let's see. 
yeah, drifting nicely on the fourth gear. Okay, the dream about not getting too dirty or wet is over. Uh. Well, it's a stupid dream anyway. It's just get this mud and not fall into it <laughs> that's the dream at the moment <laughs> I guess I could wash the driving clo clothes today as well, because there's a dryer in that Airbnb. But uh, it's okay that I look like a traveler, because that's what I am. <laughs> Never seen a sign like this that prevents you from going except for bicycles and motorcycles. At least that's how I understood it. <laughs> so awesome. I guess I can go then. Let's do it. Would be awesome to have a train right next to me <laughs> and race it. Those white blocks are concrete, so you don't want to hit them. <laughs> This is the same thing. This is different, the sign here. So, <laughs> it would be great to have signs that have multiple languages. So how I get it, it's the, it's the same sign without the pictures, which is uh, super weird. As a tourist you have to stop with every one of these and check with the translate app what it actually means. Okay, trip continues.
Woohoo, a little air. <laughs> I'm trying to get to this hilltop. That should be a nice view in there. Let's see if it's rideable. I hope so. Yes. Should be here. I'd like to get my bike up there and maybe get a picture with the bike. Let's shut the bike off and check it by foot. Uh. Yeah, I'm not gonna ride this. No way. Yeah, bike is gonna have to stay. I can walk it though. No, oh, she's dirty. Dirty girl. But so am I. We're both gonna need a shower after this. Actually, let's change to iPhone. And welcome back. I guess there's some kind of a trail we can follow here. No markings anywhere though. Really? <laughs> Up there? Okay. So I'm just doing this for a video. <laughs> Otherwise, nope. Uh, is this a... I don't see how this can be. Okay, that's an easier path. Let's try it. Uh, it is not easy. I don't exactly have the best shoes for this. Uh, God. Something in my mouth again. I'm starting to think that this is a, a joke from the TED linesman. There's absolutely nothing here. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Let's check it anyway. Let's see the map now. Okay, so it should be Maybe on top of that. I don't know. Maybe it's there. There's nothing there. This is quite a joke. <laughs> I can barely walk up this. It's just so steep. 
And some more. You don't want to drop there. That is quite a drop. <coughs> Starting to re regret that I have my helmet on. Oh, almost fell. I kind of have to put the video off for a second. Okay, this is it. There's a view. Okay, <laughs> I don't think I would do this again. And the view is actually up there would be pretty good. But this is not clearly not the right way to go there. So yeah, I don't have much to say. <laughs> don't climb here. <laughs> Completely useless. You're in the middle of the bushes, so you can't really see much. But you saw it from the video. That's the view. So I'm gonna end the tent here. And uh, this was a rest day, supposedly. Pretty, pretty heavy one. But tomorrow I'm gonna be continuing towards Greece. And uh, see you then. Bye.